Tech enthusiast, welcome back to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Today we are diving into something that could change the way you code forever: GitHub Copilot in IntelliJ. But before that, let's talk about why tools like GitHub Copilot are becoming so popular. Think about it. When you're coding, you are often searching for the right function, the correct syntax, or even just a little nudge in the right direction. That's where GitHub comes in. For anyone new here, GitHub is more than just a code repository. It's a place where developers can collaborate, share, and keep track of code changes. Imagine having an intelligent assistant sitting beside you as you code, suggesting lines, entire functions, or even fixing tricky syntax issues. That's GitHub Copilot, and it's quickly becoming a must-have tool for programmers. So the question arises, why use GitHub Copilot in IntelliJ? Don't worry, I have got you. Whether you are a beginner learning the ropes or a pro working on complex projects, Copilot speeds things up and keeps you in the flow. It's perfect for repetitive tasks, but it's also incredibly helpful when you hit a tricky spot or need fresh ideas for more efficient code. In today's video, we'll go over everything you need to get started with GitHub Copilot in IntelliJ. We'll look at setup, adjusting settings, keyboard shortcuts, or even some tips on refining your code to make the most of Copilot's suggestions. So whether you are new to coding or a seasoned developer, stick around. By the end, you will be ready to have a GitHub Copilot as your personal coding assistant, helping you work faster and smarter. Let's jump in. Before we commence, learn generative AI and machine learning with the Professional Certificate Program from IIT Guwahati's E and ICT Academy in collaboration with Simply Learn. This 11-month live online program led by IIT faculty and industry experts provides hands-on experience with 25 plus projects and 15 plus AI tools including ChatGPT, DALI 2 and TensorFlow. Gain skills in machine learning, deep learning, NLP, reinforcement learning and computer vision and earn a prestigious certificate along with executive alumni status from IIT Guwahati. Enjoy the interaction Active master classes, hackathons by IBM, and the chance to join a campus immersion at IITG. Join now to accelerate your career with Cutting Edge AI program. For the link to check the description box below and pin comments. Now, when you're already into this IntelliJ idea, you will have to go to the settings and you have to search for plugins. And in the plugins, you have to search here for GitHub Copilot. So you will basically get this as I have already installed. So it is coming as a blue tick. For you people, if you have not installed, you will have an install button over here. You have to just click on this and get it done. So after it is installed, it will ask basically for the restart of the idea to go for that. And once you are back after that restart, after you have done with the restart and everything, you will be able to see this icon of Copowland down here. So you need to click over here and you can see the status. My status is ready as I have already logged into it. For the new users, you need to log in over here. So basically there are some subscription plans they have. Uh, so for you can buy the co-pilot version for one month or even you can have a trial version. For the trial version, you have to just put the card details there and that's all. So get it done. And now after that, if you need more information about it, you need to click on this. Then you have to go to tools, GitHub Copilot, and you will be having a view welcome guide. As the name suggests, the welcome guide is a step-by-step -step instruction for you to get started with the Copilot. And I'm closing it. Now, if you want to see the documentation over here, you can just do the same tools GitHub Copilot and view Copilot documentation. It will just open into a new browser and you can see you have an overview as a quick start. So let's click on quick start and you will be having the JetBrains IDs, introduction, like what it provides, sign up for GitHub Copilot, like a free trial or anything about the subscription they will say. Prerequisites like everything you have uh, to install before you can enable that. Chat with GitHub uh, Copilot and everything. It is also a guide for you and it will provide help and support. So just let's cross it. And now, so now there are various parts in the tools GitHub Copilot that are not yet explored. So let's explore that. 
uh, you have your edit keyboard settings, edit keyboard shortcuts, and here you can go to plugins and then search for GitHub Copilot IntelliJ, and you will be basically having a list of all the keyboard shortcuts they have. So especially you need to search for that show next completions, previous completions, or even about the apply next line of completion to the editor, next word for completion of the editor. These are important. You will have to remember this. And now moving on, I will cross this. You can even have an idea of the settings this GitHub Copilot has. Go for edit settings. And here you can see that the automatically it will show some completions the editor show inline chat gutter icon and the natural uh, language is english so update channel is stable and even here in the language section there are so many languages you can go through over here if you want a particular language to be only enabled you can even do that so it's up to you there are various types of settings you can even have advanced settings over here and so you can basically explore over here. So these are the basic stair settings I'm talking about. So now let's move on. So now basically I'm moving on to the code suggestions, the most important part. Let's have a, I have a previously work project that is a calculator in Java. So let's see how it gives suggestions. So let's click on this icon and a chat will come over. I am powered by AI, so surprises and mistakes are possible. Make sure to verify any generated code or suggestions and share feedback so that we can learn and improve. So basically, it's an AI powered assistant. So yeah, mistakes can be done, but still it's very helpful. So I have only plus, minus, into and divide operations. So let's say I want to add one more operation over here. So let's try say, hey, please add another operation in the calculator. So it may take some time. So it has started adding, making the code. So it has made the code. So it's saying, sure, I will add the modulus operation. So it has added basically the modulus operation, which was obviously not here to the calculator. This is the updated code. So let's see. With this, all this information, I will just copy the code and paste it over here. So it has added. If you need some explanation about a particular case or some block of code, you can even ask it over here. Like for say I need this part and I will ask for slash explain see for slash we have so many options explain feedback fix help test doc and simplify so let's now explore for explain and let's see what it does so basically it says the selected code initializes the two variables that is result and valid operation are essential for performing and validating the operations in the calculator program. For example, the first variable result is a double type. Obviously, the type is double and initialized to zero. And this variable is used to store the outcome of the any arithmetic operation performed by the calculator. For example, double result equal to zero. So in this way, it will explain you. So it, when it comes for any complex code you will have definitely have a benefit over here because you need a proper explanation of what the code is doing and where all these variables are getting used now moving on so let's say from here switch part full switch part i will select and i will say simplify because i need a simplification of this code so let's simplify so it has some simplified it. I have simplified the code by combining the case for division and modulus operations since they both share the same logic for handling division by zero. The result assignment is done using a ternary operator to differentiate between the two operations. So basically it has given the same logic for the, the division and the modulus as if they are using the same logic. 
So see in this way you can even get a simplified version of this code. So now let's move into this documentation. Let's see what this documentation does. Let's choose a case like this and slash documentation. Let's see what it does. So it has basically added all the documentations over here for our proper understanding. Like check if the second number is not zero to avoid division by the zero error. So we are checking as num2 not equal to zero. So the result is equal to num1 by num2. This is perform division and store the result. And else we have system.out.print error division by zero is not allowed. Print error message if division by zero is attempted. So basically it puts all the comments for your better understanding. So these are the various basic things you should know before you go ahead with the GitHub Copilot. GitHub Copilot is basically providing you all the suggestions you need to know or if for a simplification of a code to even adding more complex things. So basically it is very important for every developer to use it. All right, folks, that's a wrapper. We have explored the various things we need to know before getting started with GitHub Copilot. And please let us know what are the things you have enjoyed in GitHub Copilot chat in IntelliJ. And I will catch you in the next video. Until then, keep learning and keep growing with Simply Learn. Thanks for watching. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back.